What's going on everyone? God bless you all. It's been a hot minute uh, to bring up a current event about what's going on in our society, especially to our favorite wannabe religion of peace. Lately, uh, let's see, um, another article looks like what's going on in Pakistan. The Islamic Republic of Pakistan church pleads for Christians sentenced to death for blasphemy. Oh my gosh, you know, I I don't understand the mindset of these Islamists in Pakistan. Since the independence, this whole Sharia mindset destroys everything. A country where the whole country of India, we could have been one big country, a strong country, but anything Islam touches always destroys everything. They're already messed up with Bangladesh. Now they're messing more things up internally in Pakistan. You're already broke. I don't know. You're, you're yelling and defending for a God, this false God, that's not doing much for Pakistan. Let's take a look what's going on. These people are courageous to protest as the entire governmental and law enforcement apparatus in Pakistan is on the side of those who are persecuting Christians and other religious minorities. Church in Pakistan pleads for Christians sentenced to death for blasphemy by Lisa Zingarni from the Vatican News, July 5th, they came out. The Catholic bishops of Pakistan have joined the Christian community outcry against a recent Punjabi court death sentence condemning a young Christian for blasphemy in connection with an anti-Christian riot in Punjab last year, saying it is an abuse of law, again, targeting religious minorities. I mean, how disgusting can you be, you, you Islamist? You want to apply a religious law on other religions, and then you want to tell the world why Islam is a religion of peace. And I'm going to keep repeating the same thing because I know it's bothering a lot of the Muslims, and it needs to be. Because that's the only way you're going to get your thick skull out of the matrix and be free from this bondage. The imams always lie to you. They will continue to lie to you. Stop saying about, oh, I'm going to go to the skull. They know it all. They don't know it all. You're, you people are smart. You have the intellect, especially some of you educated ones. I don't understand how some of you guys are doctors. I know there's some, some of these Islamists are doctors and lawyers. You guys do your research and everything. But when it comes to the Quran, you, you just stay like a dumbfounded, like, like a freaking duckling. Because that, that there's a spirit behind that. That's definitely Satan influence. Try to put that lie. Let me to encourage you to those moderate Muslims. Be free from that lie. They lie to you. I've been trashing Allah and Muhammad for 20 years. And Allah didn't strike me down with any lightning. He didn't turn me to no monkey or pig. Because it's a false pathetic God. Tell me one good thing Muhammad ever said. Self-proclaimed prophet going around. Oh yeah, he's a messenger. The behavior is why the rest of the Middle East, parts of Asia, parts of Africa, even parts of Europe, savage by sword, forcing them to convert. That's how you convert. Oh, yes. Fastest growing religion, right? No, you guys want to jump to the Bible or jump to whatever other religions that you want to argue against, but you don't want to deal with your own. Oh my gosh, if I say the wrong with the Quran, I'm gonna get punished. What the hell is what the hell is what the hell is the point of doing dawah? But you expect everybody to believe your way. Because I know how you play the game. You don't you don't I'm not that stupid. You guys will talk and talk and talk to the Bible or any other religious group to avoid anything from the Quran. On June 29th. Mr. Asan Raja Masi, a 23-year-old, uh, a brick kiln, kiln worker, was found guilty by the Sahiwal Anti-Terrorism Court under several articles of the Pakistan Penal Code for allegedly sharing an image of a damaged Quran. Gosh, you guys are the most sensitive piece of craps. A damaged Quran on social media. 
or if that's one of you guys, try to look for a blame because you guys will do anything when you're the upper hand, right? Especially what you guys been doing. You think these people will do anything that ignorant to go through all these suffering? You guys want to come to the you Oh my gosh, I'm being persecuted. Everyone want to pick up the Muslim Islamophobia. I don't know. You tell me what you guys have been doing for 400, 1400 years. You want to lie to the people's face deliberately. Kind of like what Cat Williams says. You know, what does a liar do? Pretend that it doesn't happen, right? That's what you guys are trying to do. Uh, no, no, it doesn't. It is happening daily. You guys will. You guys crying about Palestine, right? Marching down because nobody can do that against Islam. Because the one thing that you're a sore loser in. And the leftists are buying that propaganda. Listen up, lefties. You're being played like a fool. And I'm telling you this from experience. That was part of our agenda. To use you guys as guinea pigs to get what we want. You guys may think like. The leftist, socialist, is something like, but that's one thing that the devil still will do. He will make everybody destroy each other. Well, you guys want to play the partnership. If Islam gets the other upper hand, guess what? You lefties that you thought they were good guys, now they're going to tell you, well, guess what? You need to follow our ways now, follow our ways now, or be unalived, or pay the jizya. Pay that mafia tax money if you want to protect your faith. But then again, anytime they can still unalive you, because they'll get they'll get very antsy about it if their number is not growing for Islam. There's nothing good in it. Nothing it talks about God. It's just all about me, me, me. I'm the messenger. I bring one God. That's the, that's your message, right? And not dealing with everyday life, dealing with the people. You're not doing anything to win souls, and you expect people to re respect this ideology. I a spit on Muhammad, that dirtbag. Disgusting human being of a child rapist. So you want to charge an innocent man, a clean... The, you see what these people do? Brick kiln worker. Yeah, let's keep the Christians and Hindus. Wow, even India have to deal with some of these Islamists too, doing these scumbag activities out there. Some of you Muslims are living well in India. It seems like any of these non-Muslim countries, they just want to be in that place. You can see the big difference under their control. <sighs> Let me focus on this article. It's just... Pakistan penal code for allegedly sharing an image of a damaged Quran on social media, thus offending the sentiments of Muslims and trying to promote religious hatred. Everything to them is hatred. Let me tell you how these people think. You, you can't talk about them. They think they're so above and beyond better than everyone else, but yet we see their dirtbag lifestyle, bad funky body odor, like their skanky prophet. My gosh, what is up with you guys' beer too? What is it about being a Muslim? They grow the most demonic looking beer also. Want to cry about it. Don't talk about me. How dare you? What the hell is wrong with you? Now you know where wokeism comes from, right? The OG of all OGs, wokeism, is those crybaby Islamists. That's how you deal with it. You don't like criticism. You have to deal with criticism if you want to show your faith being strong. Yeah, you can say all kinds of manners against Jesus and the Bible, but we pray for you. And I still pray for you. I know there are good people out there, but you need to start rising up. Why, do you, why are you afraid to tell your imams, your parents? You worry about, if I do leave, what my parents will say. Well, think about it. Why do you think freedom is important? If you allow your family member to walk over you, not bring these hard questions up. Yes, one thing Muhammad didn't predict is the power of the internet. In the 80s and 90s, do you know how many of these stuff they hide hidden from us? Even I'm learning still more and more every day of how disgusting Islam is. I never knew that even when I was growing up that you can actually grape non-muslim women that it's okay during wartime or heck even if you're the majority oh they're just dirty christian and jews or polytheists i can make them my sex slave wow and and, and, and not one time it occurs to you that that's a satanic thinking what's the point of having satan around the world what's the difference between god and satan 
need to think about that. The anti-Christian writes in Jarnawala, uh, Jaranwala, offending the sentiment of Muslims and trying to promote religious hatred. Gosh, you're the ones that's doing all the hatred. And if you don't know your own history, if you can't even trace back the history, how Islam was spread it, then something is wrong with you. You got to sit here and tell people you're the religion of peace, right? The post trigger... The post triggered the anti-Christian riot in Province John Wallace City on August 6, 2023, August 16, 2023, in which more than 25 churches and over 80 Christian homes were vandalized and many Bibles burned. Blasphemy has been a capital crime in Pakistan since 81, though no one has been executed by the government so far. However, in several cases, mobs takes the matter into their own hands and lynch the suspects, and the legislation is often misused for false accusation against Christians and other religious minorities to settle personal scores. Verdict contested by the church. The death sentence has spurred widespread protests on social media and a strong condemnation from Christian leaders in Pakistan. Let me see. Why are they condemning the... The death sentence has spurred widespread protests on social media and a strong condemnation... Oh, strong condemnation from the Christian leaders in Pakistan. We condemn this in strongest terms, said Bishop Joseph Arshad of Islamabad Rawalpindi, chairperson of the Commission for Justice and Peace of the Pakistan Catholic Bishops Conference. This is the abuse of law, a travesty of justice. Bishop Ludacris Rahmat of Faisalabad and UCA News Anglican. Bishop, see, you know what I don't understand? When the whole independence happened, you made one for a Hindu state, a Muslim state. I don't understand why they could have made a Christian state also too. That way you can see a bigger difference in whose hand God is blessing the nation that does what's right. You say you're the people of Pakistan, right? But we, what does the word Pakistan mean? It's land of the pure? It's supposed to be for the Islamist only, but you want to keep some Christians and Jews, right? Make them dhimmis? And then you want to blame the Brits, you want to blame everybody else of your failure. When it all comes down to it, everyone has a hate in their heart. It is your sinful nature. And if you don't learn to forgive, if you don't learn to trust God, you guys try to do things on your own hand, take things, un take things, um, God, I'm sorry, I'm all, the frustration. You try to take matters out of your own hand. Where's your trust in Allah? You guys talk about faith, right? But you guys want to go around, be the Judaizer, right? Start doing all the judicial laws, right? Not trusting in God in the process. Don't you dare say that you, that you love Jesus more than the Christians. You have no idea. You talk the talk you believe, but you have no idea the reason why you believe. The only excuse you have is what? Oh, they bring the prison one Allah. Keep praying for Pakistan and everywhere else. Shame all you media. And I hate our country and all the West for what they're doing, especially some of these far lefties, even certain conservatives too, I've got to be honest. We were blessed because to look out for the minorities also too. Maybe Pakistan needs to be deserved to be invaded also too. Or when you got to cry about it, oh, here they come, they invaded us because we're Muslims. No. That's how God will bring judgment in those nations. He sees what you're doing, Pakistan. If that earthquake didn't wake you up and that flooding didn't wake you up, all I got to tell you is stand by to stand by. If you don't get right with God, if you don't repent, then that judgment is going to be coming harder at you, Pakistan. But I pray for you always, and I pray for every Muslim to be free from this bondage. Come home to your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Stop fighting over this whole, how you describe the nature of God. If you, if, if you could take the 99 names of Allah, just use your mind so Allah can do whatever He wants. God could come as a man. He became the Son of God. God is a multi-person God. He could be anywhere at the same time and same place. Why is that so hard? Read the Bible so you can understand out of all the prophets and you can see the difference how Jesus speaks. I do this because I see what God has done in my life and that he's real. That's a, that's a difference. When you live your life as a religion, you go, you do your namaz and be honest, Muslims. I know sometimes you go do your namaz. You may have some time of feel good moment, but you know what? You don't have the eternal peace. I know many of you guys wonder what's going to happen to you when you die. Maybe you need to start thinking about that. 
Because you remember, there's no guarantee of salvation in Islam. Unless you do jihad, right? Allah says what? Or and I'm sure in the hadith, well, pretty much is Allah, Muhammad and Allah are the same. Jews and Christians will be the replacement for you guys. Wow. You see what the devil did when Christ already did that for us, and but he resurrected? <sighs> like, share, subscribe it. Check out my YouTube channel too, Brothers and Sisters of Christ. Help me support on that side too as I'm more on the other side also. And I, I do a lot more live streaming on the other side. And we do a lot of persecution report on the other side also too on YouTube. But please, brothers and sisters, keep praying and fasting now more than ever. And it's not just only for Pakistan, but worldwide, my brothers and sisters. Till next time, God bless you all. And I'll keep you guys more posted from the amazing religion of peace. God bless you all.